I've got a question here about lattice enthalpy and Born Harbor cycles. And you can see that you're given a table of enthalpy changes A to G, and we've got some values down the right hand side. G is missing, the lattice enthalpy for magnesium chloride, because we're going to have to work this one out. So the first part of the question, you have to identify the correct letters to go into these empty boxes here. You're then going to use the cycle to calculate the value for the lattice enthalpy for magnesium chloride. And then finally, you need to explain why magnesium chloride has stronger ionic bonds than sodium chloride. So if you pause the video, have a go at those, and then I'll go through the answer. So we'll start down here with D. We're going from magnesium solid and a mole of chlorine gas to magnesium chloride solid. So that's obviously the enthalpy change of formation. And so that's process D. So going up now, we're going from magnesium solid to magnesium gas. That's the enthalpy change of atomization. And so that is E. We jump to this one now. Look at what's changing. We're going from magnesium gas to magnesium plus gas. So that's the first ionization energy of magnesium. So that's B. And then the next one, we're going for Mg. We're going from, sorry, Mg plus gas to Mg2 plus gas. You notice also the electrons are changing as well. And that's because the electrons are coming off one at a time. So this is the second ionization energy of magnesium and so that's letter F. And then the final letter, we're going from the gaseous ions to the solid ionic lattice. So it's G, the lattice enthalpy. The calculation now, so Hess's law says that the enthalpy change, no matter which way you go, is the same, provided you start at the same place in both routes and finish at the same place in both routes. So where the arrow is now, that's this common starting point. So the enthalpy change of formation, that's one route to go from here to here, is equal to the sum of all of these individual enthalpy changes. You can see the arrows are all pointing in the direction of the root. So it's plus 76. You've got to be careful here because the value for the atomization of chlorine in the table, this one here, is plus 150. But atomization is all about producing one mole of gaseous atoms. And if you look, we're forming two moles of gaseous atoms. So we need to double this one. And then it's plus 736, plus 1450. And then just be careful again because the electron affinity is to produce one mole of one minus ions, whereas we are producing two in the cycle. So we need to double this enthalpy change as well. Plus G. So there's your two roots. Minus 642 equals all of these added together. So you can see. There's the numbers there. And then we just basically work out all of this, stick it in a bracket, take it over there, change its sign, and you should get the same as me, minus 2506. And then the final part of the question, magnesium has stronger ionic bonds than sodium chloride. You can see I've written there in ex with exclamation marks, ions, you mustn't talk about atoms because ionic bonds are all governed by ions. So what are the factors? Magnesium 2 plus has a greater charge than sodium 1 plus. Magnesium 2 plus has a smaller ionic radius than sodium plus. Don't be saying atomic radius, otherwise you won't get the mark. And so therefore, the attraction 
between the ions, the Mg2 plus and Cl minus ions is greater than between sodium 1 plus and Cl minus ions.